first and foremost, going into the beta, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, Call of Duty, Battle Royale, it seemed like a clash. I was kind of skeptical of the whole thing, but I was blown away with how well this turned out. It works. The game plays so well. The Battle Royale, Call of Duty, it, it, like, it just worked. It was such a fun game to play, and the more I played it, the more I enjoyed it. Uh, I played the entire week. I wanted to make this video a little bit earlier, but I decided to wait until the beta was completed to give a full review. Um, I played the shit out of the game. I reached level 20. I had tons of wins. Um, the sniping, you guys know I love sniping, and the sniping just felt so good. It was, uh, you just felt so satisfied every time you hit a shot. You're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there were some little things I didn't like. I mean, the, the looting system and the armor and stuff like that. They did make some changes to it, which is awesome. I think it's uh, it shows foreshadowing for what the full game is going to be like when it fully releases. Just the fact that they were making changes and it was only a beta, that's a good sign. Like, that's a really good sign. That shows that Triarch is listening and they, they're re willing to make changes, you know, based on what the community is saying. Uh, it, it felt really good. Um... When I first open the game, and I open the map, and I see all these iconic places from old Call of Duties, you see Firing Range, Nuketown, Array, I'm like, what? Like, you get this nostalgic feel as you're playing the game, right? Uh, you're running around, and then you see zombies in this diner, and you see Asylum, and you see all these zombie places, and you're like, what? There's zombies in this game? 10 out of 10, absolutely loved it. Uh, the mystery box adding random uh, uh, zombie weapons like the ray gun and the Galil and stuff like that. Like, that was so good. Um, nothing feels overpowered, except for level 3 armor, of course. But we'll talk about that a, a little bit later. But the weaponry, really good. It doesn't feel like Fortnite in the sense that you could go an entire game looking for, we'll say, a double barrel. Let's say you want a double barrel, you can go an entire game and not find one. This game, if I wanted a weapon, I would find that weapon at some point. Like, it just happened. The weapon pool is small enough that you can find something that you want. Like, it was... It's so good. It, it really is. And nothing feels really RNG about it. I mean, it is obviously because you're landing in houses and you don't know what you're picking up and stuff. But in the sense of, you know, rarity of weapons and... Like, for example, you can find golden weapons in this game. Uh, all that means is that it, it's a base weapon with all the attachments already equipped to it. Now, what I love about this is that you might find a weapon that is completely decked out with all your attachments and stuff, but it might not be your favorite weapon. So you can take your favorite weapon with no attachments, take the attachments off the one you found, and put it on your favorite weapon. I absolutely love the idea. Uh, really good. The mobility and stuff like that with the vehicles, I was really worried about vehicles. I, the second I heard that vehicles were announced in the game, I, I instantly thought Battlefield, right? People flying around in helicopters and stuff like that. I was just like, ah, oh, really? But all they are is mobility. I absolutely love it. You can just traverse through the map really fast with vehicles, and it just works really, really well. Um, even, uh, you know, random gear and equipment that you can find throughout the game, if, like the grappling hook as an example. That is a ton of fun, and I think it makes for interesting gameplay, right? Like, you don't know if the guy's gonna have a grappling hook and come at you, or you go at them. It just makes every engagement feel intense. When I'm playing this game, unlike Fortnite, so I'm gonna make some comparisons to Fortnite. Uh, I mean, of course, it's the behemoth of Battle Royales right now, so it, it seems comparing to that game, most people would understand the references. When you get into a fight in Fortnite, like, you don't dig down deep in your chair and like get into it at least i don't in this game when i'm about to be in an engagement and i'm playing with a squad like the game feels really good with squads even if i'm solo it doesn't really matter but if i'm about to get into a fight like i am like digging deep and i'm into it like i'm tunnel visioned on the game and i feel like i'm there like you know what i mean it's just so intense and you just get so into it when you win the fight whether whether you win or lose you don't feel like you got screwed out of a fight Again, unless the guy has level 3 armor. But it just feels really good. I love the fact that they did make changes throughout the beta. I think the, the biggest one was the, the level 3 armor, like I've made note of a couple times already. Uh, it was super overpowered, and they did make changes to it all, like throughout the beta, which is fantastic. 
And like I said before, that show just shows foreshadowing for what the full game is going to be like. Because I mean, if they're making changes in the beta based on what the community is saying, that's what it's going to be like when the full game releases. And that just shows a lot about the developer and it shows a lot about where they want to take the direction with this game. You know what I mean? Um, looting system, they made changes with that too. I think that they could still make some changes. I don't like that let you have let's say you have two guns when you open up your menu you can only see one of them and you got to physically change your gun to see the attachments of the second one i would like a screen where you could see both your guns at the same time and be able to move stuff a little bit easier but again minor it's very minor but little things like that i think would improve the core gameplay of it uh the looting system they did change like i said uh, it took a long time to loot so like you had to physically look at what you wanted to pick up hold square on PlayStation 4 hold square and then you would pick up what you wanted uh, they did make changes to it where you don't have to look directly at what you want to pick up uh, and you don't have to hold square quite as long which is really good I think they can make a few more adjustments to that even make it even a little bit faster I would like to see that you don't have to pick up ammo either I, I, I do just want to run over ammo. I don't want to sit there and hold square on all of my dead bodies that I've people that I've killed and You know pick up all their ammo all the time. That's not fun for me. So I would like to see that um, Other than that, I, I think the looting uh, Like I said other than the little changes was well done uh, Armor though uh, There needs to be an overhaul of armor in my opinion armor one and two it's a good idea. I do like the fact that there is armor. Uh, maybe it's a little bit too strong. Level 3, like there's a big difference. If somebody has level 1 armor and somebody has level 3 armor, level 3 armor should win that fight 9 times out of 10. Like they, they should win that fight. Um, if they don't, then you got really outplayed. If you see somebody with level 3 armor, you really have to completely change your playstyle to really match what they're doing. Um, again, not the end of the world, but I would like to see changes when the full game releases. And I did see that uh, Vonderhart did tweet out that there was going to be changes to the armor system before the full game releases. So again, a really good sign of the direction that they want to take this game. And the fact that they're listening to the community, 10 out of 10. Like, I'm really impressed with the game developers and seeing it, the commitment that they're they're putting into it to make things better. Uh, a couple more things that I think need a little bit more tweaking uh, are the, is the perks. I think some of the perks need a little bit more value to them. Um, I find that the medic perk in particular, uh, I don't know if this is intentional or not, but let's say you're playing duos and your teammate goes down. If I'm sitting there reviving my teammate and the enemy is shooting him while he's down, you cannot kill him as long as I'm reviving him. So I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's intentional or not, but... That seems kind of eh to me. Um, the time to revive seems really short too. Like it, it feels really easy to get revives off. So I think that they need to increase that time. And by increasing that time, you give more more value to the medic perk. Um, a couple other ones too, like Brawler. Uh, basically every building you land into, you're gonna find a gun. Uh, what Brawler does is increase your damage, I believe, with your fists. So it's not often that you're gonna be punching somebody in this game right like you basically find a gun wherever you land so I don't see much value in that uh, outlander 2 I believe outlander it's more more damage dealt and less damage received while in the storm and I mean if you're out of bounds and you're in the storm you're taking quite a bit of damage to begin with so, I mean you don't really want to be put in that situation uh, I feel like that perk might need some tweaking, but I mean, there are some really good ones. Skulker, increased speed while crouched, uh, dead silence, obviously. Uh, awareness needs some eh, tweaking. Uh, I, the audio in this game is really messed up. Uh, I don't know if it was just the beta. I hope it's not like that in the full game. Uh, the You can hear people walking like from super far away. And if there's multiple people on you or your teammates with you, you can't distinctly tell like which way the footsteps are. And sometimes you feel like people are way closer to you than they really are. Uh, so footstep audio, there's something wonky with that. It's That's certainly not right. Um, again, I, I, I'm certain that they're going to make changes to that before the actual game releases. That, that one's a really big one. Um, 
I think they already mentioned, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that they mentioned that they were going to decrease teammate footsteps in this game. I don't know if they did or not in the beta. I'm pretty sure that they did. I heard something about that, but I could be wrong with that one. Um, anyway, so the perk system... I like how it works though, how you, you only get the perk for a certain duration. It's not like you pop the perk and you have it for the entirety of the game. Like, So you have to use your perks uh, tactfully, you know what I mean? Like, You don't want to just pop them whenever you get them, you kind of want to get the most value out of them. So I like that, so I think making the perks a little bit more uh, stronger in the sense that if you're using a perk, it should really give you an advantage, right? Like you, you really want to get the most use out of it. I think right now the most useful ones is Skulker, Dead Silence, uh, Mobility is a good one. Medic is pretty good too, I guess. Uh, it increases not only the, the, or sorry, it decreases the duration that it takes to revive a down teammate, but it also increases how fast you can heal yourself. So it's not bad, but like I said, I, th I think there needs to be some tweaks to the perking system. Uh, very minor though, very minor. <laughs> Don't get me wrong here, it's not a big deal at all, but some tweaks would, uh, I think, increase the value of perks. Uh, one last thing that I want to touch on is the LTMs. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, LTM stands for Limited Time Mode. Uh, if you're familiar with Fortnite, you know that they have limited time modes that are always changing. It kind of keeps the game fresh. And they did have some LTMs in the beta, which is beyond surprising. I did That was the last thing I expected. When I first got into it, that was one of the first things I thought of. I was like, oh, if they don't have limited time modes to kind of keep things fresh, I don't know if people are going to stick around, you know what I mean? Like, to keep casuals and stuff like that. Like, I didn't know what people would think about that. But right off rip, they've got LTMs. Close quarters. They had uh, one that moved the storm way faster. Like, just the fact that they're adding LTMs into the beta, perfect. Uh, I was thinking of a few others that I think would be really cool. I thought that maybe like a nighttime mode where every player gets night vision, that would be really cool. Uh, like the, the opportunities are endless here. Like they could go in so many different directions with LTMs. Uh, if they're creative and they keep spicing things up, I think it'll really keep the game alive. I'm looking forward to it. So I think I touched on basically everything that I wanted to touch on. The map, the perks, the weapons, LTMs. So. Honestly, I had a great experience with the game. I will most definitely be playing this game on release and for the foreseeable future. If you're interested, the release date is October 12th, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I had a blast. And if you're into shooters, first person shooters, the, you're gonna love this game. It's a ton of fun. I definitely recommend it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learnt a little bit from my experience with this game. And I will see you on the next one.